Haha, <laughs> yes, the dreaded sanding pole. There's my broom handle extension again. And I got my little swivel head on there and I put a new piece of sandpaper on here. I think I've used, I'm using 100 grit. You can get it in different grits. 80 grit would be a little bit coarser. You just have to be careful if you use 80, you don't want to sand too much, you know, on uh, new sheetrock mud and that kind of thing. But we're not, we're just sanding the walls or the ceiling now. Okay, because this sheetrock is all discolored. And what I want to do before I do anything up there, and this is where I made my mistake last time in the bedroom, I just went up there and started coating the sheetrock um, seams and the nails because I saw that it needed to be touched up and they looked like they only put one coat up there. So I did that and then it wasn't sticking. I thought it would stick fine. And in a couple areas it loosened up because that discolored sheetrock needs to be sanded first. Then after we do that, we're going to put a Kills primer up there before I put any sheetrock mud on there. I don't want to put sheetrock mud up on there and have it start peeling off after I put sealer on and the finish paint. And I had that happen in a couple little spots in the bedroom and I had to patch that afterwards. And I'm like, oh brother, another coat of quick set, another two coats of, of all-purpose joint compound, sand that after it dries prime it and two coats of finish after I had my finish paint up there in a couple spots yes we're gonna not do that this time we've learned from our mistakes my loss haha <laughs> is always your gain and I'm always gonna show you stuff like that that's why you need to keep watching my channel you never know what you're gonna get Okay, so I'm going to get up there with my sanding pole and I'm going to look at, I'm only going to concentrate on one spot at a time. You know, from, from where the nail holes are over this way. Don't, don't get going too far and then figuring out, okay, where have I started? Where did I stop? And we're up on a ladder. So you don't want to reach over too far. I mean, I might be able to go over this far. I'm just going to do a little bit at a time. You know, I guess I can do two bays at a time here because I can reach it. And I'm hardly doing anything, but I can see up here that I'm, that I'm taking down some stuff off of the discolored sheetrock. What I'm taking off is the last little remnants of any of the popcorn ceiling. I got most of it off, but you still need to sand this a little bit before you prime it. Let's see if I can reach it from the next run down. I want to go to about here. I've got goggles on and a, and a dust mask on. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm sanding right over my head. And it's going to get all on me. That's why I got my hat on, my goggles, my dust mask, everything. You know, once I do this upper part, then I can turn around and start sanding down this way so it's not, you know, right in my face. It starts chattering, you know, you're holding it wrong or with the new pad, sometimes that happens and then you just have to kind of lift up on it. You want it to go smooth. Okay. 
All right, now I'm going to move over to the next bay. Very simple, but it's a really important part of the project. Don't miss it, okay? Let's just get you up there and do another little section. Not sure how to position my ladder just yet, but I can, I can move it. Okay, now I'm just going to concentrate on this bay here. Just a little bit out of time. Now you might think after you sand this, should it, shouldn't, it, shouldn't the sea rock mud stick to this now? You know, I'm not going to trust that. I'm going to seal it next. And then I'll do all my sheetrock work up there. It looks like all the belly bands have to be hit again. The nail, the nail holes have to be hit again because I can see that on the nail holes right here, they're, they're pushed up just a bit, so it needs another layer of mud. I mean, they did, at least they did this before they uh, installed the popcorn ceiling. I'm kind of surprised and impressed that at least they did that, you know, and did the seams and, and all. I guess you gotta do that to get a nice flat spray job. I want to go down this way just yet. I want to concentrate on getting over to the end. Then I can work up here and work down. A lot easier working down like that. Okay? We've got the whole room to do. Just one little bay at a time. Just concentrate on one little bay. You know? That's all you got to do. And before you know it, you'll be done. Now I got to get the camera out of here because it's going to get dusty. But once I, once I sand all this, then I'm going to take a broom up there and I'm going to sweep it down. You've got to do that because the ceiling has lots of dust on there now from my sanding and I want the primer to stick. Okay, I'm going to show you just a little bit more and then you're on your own. Okay, I've already done this piece here. Now I'm gonna do this section here. A lot easier working from the top down. Make sure you have your construction light handy. Don't do this in the dark, okay? Nice, easy strokes. We're not racing anybody. You've got all day for this. Well, for this and the sheetrock mud and stuff. Okay. Okay. I'm going to let you finish the rest of the room. Ooh-wee, it smells like paint in here. Well, I've got all the sealer up. I didn't show you that. I figured you knew how to use a paint roller. And I used a mini roller at that. It was a lot easier up over my head to do it. 
that way. I, I had to go up and down the ladder a little bit more, but I didn't get drips all over myself and down on the, all over the place, okay? So that's your next step. And I'm glad this time I used the two inch masking tape along the plastic, because this plastic is still up. It has not fallen down like that other, that the bedroom, if you watch that video, you need to watch that video and see the different things that happened to me over there. And I learned from that one. That was the first popcorn ceiling I'd ever removed. And this is the last one I'm ever going to remove. <laughs> but now oh, I've got it down. You know, you keep watching these videos and step by step, you'll be able to do it. Does it matter exactly how you do things on a popcorn ceiling? Yes, it does. Because those are so old and the sheetrock is really discolored. And if you don't put the right primer up there in, in the right steps, once you put your finished paint up and, you, and you're all proud of yourself and you get all done and somebody points out, hey, I can see all kinds of stuff up there. What's the deal? Yeah. And it's going to be a nightmare to fix it at that point. You're going to have to put a kill sealer up there and two more coats of finished paint, plastic it off or whatever. You know, so keep watching and you'll learn more. Hey, so while this is drying, I thought I'd get out of here and get something to eat. But I'll be back. And once I get back, I'm going to put some mud up there. You got to check that out too. Well, that's all the time I got for now. But I'll be back with more videos.